Welcome back. Uh, welcome to the channel. And today we'll be talking about that our game against Tamale United. And you see that or Tamale City FC, I think. Tamale City. That game starting from the pitch, starting from the pitch, the game was uh, a disaster. When I saw the pitch, I was like, oh no. Like, how why would the leaders of football in the country, the people who put in charge of football, they will see that pitch allow Star Times to go there and televise the game and show to the world. Well, um, I think um, seeing that on TV in itself speaks a lot uh, about our leaders. And um, I, I mean, I, I, as you have read, as you have also heard, um, the last uh, few weeks, um, people are, have been actually uh, been saying a lot about the game, about the low patronage, uh, the kind of uh, product that the, 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 uh, the GFA is selling. I've even heard a couple of GFA guys try to actually distance themselves from the league that um, is actually for the clubs. It's, it's the clubs who have actually, you know, made it uh, that way. But um, we live in a country or we live in a, or we are on a continent whereby um, accountability or responsibility is not part of our culture. So nobody is um, being, uh, uh, being made to, uh, to account for whatever they do. And nobody takes responsibility. Everybody does what, whatever he or she likes and goes got free of it. Because this will never happen anywhere. If you go back a bit, um, I think around 28, uh, 208, 207, we had good pitches. While all stars who were playing, I, I, I saw one, um, one small clip uh, on Twitter and I saw while all stars playing against a Diana stars at that time. Clinton, if you saw the pitch, you couldn't even compare that pitch to what we have at Babaya right now. I mean, Kim Fraser and House is playing. Look at how the pitch, a recently renovated pitch, is looking like. You know, so people just go scot free. Uh, we don't make uh, people are, don't account for whatever they do. So, I mean, yeah, this is what we will get. This is why, we, because if we were a serious country. I think we should have made um, this um, GFA um, um, staff or ESCO members or whatever they call themselves, we should have made them account to us. Oh, yeah, walk yeah. I mean, you were there. <laughs> I, I saw it. I saw the pitch. There was one clip, a big account, uh, African Fact Zone shared. I think that was the... Yeah. yeah. If you see the, the way the comments, everyone was talking about the pitch, the pitch, the pitch. Yeah. 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 And let me give you one fun, one funny thing. One funny thing is that pitch, uh, the Brecon pitch, during Kwasinian Tetis era, every club got deducted. I think it's either their sponsorship money or something. Every club got deducted for them to contribute to, you know, fix that pitch. Wow. Yes, that's the history of it. Well, we've, we've talked a lot about I, I think, uh, in my own opinion, I think to sort this big, uh, big issue is that they should be strict on the venues and all that. That if it's, that. Yeah. Yes, if yeah. it's not good for playing this thing. I think, you know, they approve the pitch before the league starts. So yeah. after they approve them, during the course of the season, they forget about going to check if they maintain the standard to the end of the season. So I think if they put people in charge, I will go there to look at it and say, okay, it was good before, now it's bad. You won't play ball, you won't play football here until your groundkeepers or whoever is taking care of the pitch put it in good condition. So I think that is what they, they should be doing. If if they want to set a budget or a committee for that, they should. As far as the pitch, uh, the pitches are actually good for playing football. It's flat, good grass, not the one that you fall, you, you hear. Now it's it's in uh, what do you call it? It's in Ghana Premier League. I'm hearing the the, the phrase the ball took a wicked bounce. <laughs> wicked bounce. It's only in Ghana Premier League you will hear that commentary. The walk the ball took a wicked bounce because of the nature of the pitch. Yes, that's yeah. that's it. So I think to end I mean, that to, to add a bit to add a bit the pitch issue. I think um, the people at the helm of affairs they shouldn't be um, afraid. To disappoint some couple of people yes you know uh what kotoku royals is now going through right now that is how 
we should set the standard for every club that wants to participate in the Premier League. I, in my personal opinion, the standard should also include a, a certain amount of money that the club needs to have uh, in their account so that they could it could ensure that the players are being paid well, you know? Yes. So I think the rules, I mean, the, the rules are there, regulations are there, but the people just don't want to enforce it. We have a whole club licensing committee who approved us to go and play on the Brecon page. Have you seen the Dream Safety page? Bro, wow. Awesome. That, 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 that's the worst, worst I've seen so far this season. It, it, was, it, was, it was horrible. 